primate, Babatunde Elisha Ayodele, the founder and spiritual leader of the Ari Evangelical Spiritual Church in Lagos, has recently spoken out on the pressing issues facing Nigeria, particularly urging President Bola Tinubu to address five critical concerns or Nigeria may collapse. In a compelling revelation reported by Legit MG, it is emphasized that President Tinubu ascended to, to power in 2023 with the promising mantra of renewed hope. This slogan carried with it the weighty expectations of job creation, fostering assets to capital for both small and large and enterprises, promoting inclusive, inclusivity, upholding the rule of law, and combating the, the scratch of hunger, poverty, and corruption. In a candid address captured in a recent video shared on his official ex formerly Twitter page, Ayodele fervently stressed the imperative for President Tinubu to heed the concerns of Nigerians' workers and to fulfill his pledge of restructuring the nation as originally promised to the Nigerian populace. The Reverend Cleric stated, if President Tinubu does not work on these five important areas, it will be causing pandemonium in his government. The first area Tinubu's government needs to work on is security. Number two, economy. Number three, energy. Number four, workers' welfare. Then number five, the issue of restructuring. These five areas, if they did not put all of these into consideration, the government will be galloping, will be fluctuating. That is what the Lord Almighty God said. They might not want to listen to this, but these are the facts, the important facts. Are your delays in passion plea? serves as a crayon call for decisive action, urging President Tinubu to embrace the, the tax of steering Nigerians towards a future marked by prosperity, security, and inclusivity. As the nation stands at the crossroads of its destiny, the echoes of Ayodele's admonitions Renaissance with a solemn urgency, underscoring the imperative for bold and resolute leadership in charting the course towards a brighter tomorrow. Now the question is, these people, can they ever take advice? You know, the, the worst part of the worst part of life is when Somebody is being given advice and they don't take advice. You can never make it to. You understand? Someone who does not take advice will continue to fail. The way this government is going about this whole issue, with the attacks here and there and everywhere, Nigerians are going through a lot. Too. He has said it. He said, if this government do not look into all these things, Forget Nigeria is going to collapse someday. Is this what we want? They will tell us there is no money. One of them, one person like this will be carrying 80 billion, 160 billion, 200 billion, even in dollars. But they will tell us Nigeria does not have money. The government is just too very far from the, from the masses. Insecurity everywhere. Today there was a report about 49 persons have been killed in Zanfara State again. All these things happen every day. People barely eat three square meals in a day. You can't buy anything in the market. 
So if your salary as from uh, Lagos, okay, let's say if you are receiving salary from 400,000 naira to 20,000, because we still understand that there are some persons who still receive 20,000 naira as a salary per month in this country, you are just working for feeding, not for savings or to to do anything tangible. All from 400, from, from 500,000 naira, let's say family of four, from 500,000 naira to 20,000, you are just working. That money is just for feeding. You understand? You cannot do anything tangible. But when people were talking, they said you want to cause problem. There are some persons who are not happy that they did not win election. This is and that. They are not, they are very far from the reality. Everything is not politics. They should understand. They are just too far from the reality. And this is really very painful. Nigerians are not smiling. Things are falling apart. They just have to calm down. Even if you are not God, you can as well make a policy. You see that the policy is not working. You can as well, you know, uh, uh, start all over. Then you see they do it like that. For one year now, the renew hope, this and this and all that. We are not seeing anything. No. We are not seeing anything. Shade, they don't keep quiet now about the dollar stuff. Dollar is about 1,500 naira again. No? They are not talking again. You understand? What they did and what they did and what, whatever they did that time. When they say dollar can't reach like one, two, one, three. You know? Everywhere they don't let us hear a word for this country. Now, the dollar don't come up again. Meaning that they are not ready for anything. They did not even do anything. That is the truth. Make everybody just tighten their waist. So. Nigerians, you people just have, everybody just have to get ready for this. Not because so, but it was. Nigeria is yet to see, in fact, let me not just talk. They go say you they talk bad word, but bad word, but with what is going on, you will understand. Even though say you be government worker, enter Busho. <laughs> whether bandits go see where a lot of people enter bush, at least make what you and your family can eat. The time don't reach like that. Whatever you are doing, just they think another thing. No, how do I feed? How do I feed my children? That is the most important thing. Now our bushes are not free. We can't even buy food because people cannot go to the bushes to go and even do farming. So you see, we are just stuck. I beg, don't just understand. May God see us through. May God see us through. Because, honestly speaking, this is getting out of hand. May God see us through. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. If you're just joining us, I beg, subscribe. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on.